the adductor canal. The adductor canal is also called as subsartorial canal or the hunter's canal. It is called as subsartorial canal because its roof is formed by the sartorius muscle and it is also called as the hunter's canal because of the clinical significance which was performed by a famous surgeon called as Dr. John Hunter and we will talk about it in the clinical correlation. The adductor canal is a long intramuscular canal or a tunnel that is situated onto the medial side of the thigh in the middle one third of the thigh. The adductor canal is about 15 cm long. It extends from the apex of the femoral triangle above and to the tendinous opening of the adductor magnus and the adductor hiatus below. So this is the femoral triangle which is 10 cm long approximately. This is the adductor canal, the green color which is 15 cm long and this hiatus is the adductor hiatus and this fossa is the popliteal fossa. This adductor canal provides passage to the femoral vessels from the femoral triangle to the popliteal fossa. Now coming to the boundaries of this adductor canal. The adductor canal is triangular in cross section and the anterior lateral boundary or the anterior lateral wall is formed by the vastus medialis. So this muscle is the vastus medialis. So this is the anterior lateral boundary which is formed by the vastus medialis. The posterior boundary or the floor. So this is the floor which is formed by the adductor longus. This adductor longus forms the floor above and the adductor magnus forms the floor below to it. As the adductor canal is triangular in cross section, the anterior lateral wall is finished and the floor is finished. Now coming to the medial wall or the roof of this adductor canal. It is formed by a strong fibrous membrane that stretching across the anterior lateral and posterior boundaries and this roof is overlapped by the sartorius muscle. So this green color is the strong fibrous membrane and this muscle is the sartorius. As the roof is formed by the sartorius muscle, that is why the adductor canal is named as the subsartorial canal. And remember, the subsartorial plexus of the nerves lies on the roof of the adductor canal that is below to the sartorius muscle. So this whole plexus of the nerves is called as the subsartorial plexus of the nerves. This plexus is formed by the branches of the nerves like the medial cutaneous nerve of the thigh, the saphenous nerve and the anterior division of the obturator nerve. To know about the obturator nerve, you can click on the I button and this subsartorial plexus of the nerves supplies the overlying fascia lata and the skin. For a video on the fascia lata and the saphenous opening, you can, also, you can also check on the I button. Now let's talk about the contents of the adductor canal. The contents of the adductor canal are the femoral artery and the femoral vein, the saphenous nerve, the nerve to the vastus medialis. Don't worry, we will see it in a diagram so that you can remember it better. The anterior and the posterior division of the obturator nerve, the descending genicular artery that is a branch of the femoral artery. So these are the contents and now let's talk about the brief about these contents. Now coming to the first content that is the femoral artery. In this diagram, this artery is the femoral artery and in this diagram, this is the femoral artery. The femoral artery enters the canal at the apex of the femoral triangle. That means here, the femoral artery enters the canal and it transverses the whole length of the adductor canal and leaves the canal by passing through the tendinous opening in the adductor magnus muscle that is called as the adductor hiatus. The adductor hiatus, which we saw here, is a tendinous opening in the muscle adductor magnus. And within the canal, the femoral artery gives off muscular branches and a descending genicular branch. So this branch is a branch of the femoral artery that is the descending genicular artery. So this is the descending genicular artery. And this descending genicular artery arises before the femoral artery leaves the canal. And now coming to the second content that is the femoral vein. For more details on the femoral artery and the origin and its course, you can click on the I button. In this diagram, this is the femoral vein. And in this diagram, this is the femoral vein. The femoral vein lies posteriorly to the femoral artery in the upper part. 
So this is the upper part of the canal and this vein lies posteriorly to the artery that is in the upper part of the canal and while travelling downwards it becomes lateral to the artery in the lower part of the adductor canal in the lower part and the third content is the saphenous nerve and in this diagram this is the saphenous nerve here this is the saphenous nerve remember the saphenous nerve is the longest cutaneous nerve of the whole body and it crosses the femoral artery anteriorly as you can see it here anteriorly from the lateral side so this is the lateral side towards the medial side of the body it leaves the canal by piercing into the fibrous roof and just before the saphenous nerve leaving the canal it gives off a infrapetellar branch that pierces the sartorius muscle and it joins the patellar plexus and supplies the prepatellar skin so this is all about the saphenous nerve it arises laterally and it and it passes to the medial side it is the longest cutaneous nerve of the body it leaves the canal by piercing into the roof or the sartorius muscle that is the medial side which have a strong fibrous membrane and the sartorius muscle and just before leaving the canal it gives off a infrapatellar branch and the infrapatellar branch pierces the sartorius muscle and then it joins the patellar plexus to supply the prepatellar skin and coming to the fourth content that is the nerve to vastus medialis as you know the anterior lateral wall of this canal is formed by the vastus medialis that is this muscle this nerve is the nerve to vastus medialis this nerve supplies the vastus medialis muscle in this diagram this nerve is the nerve to vastus medialis the nerve to vastus medialis is the thickest muscular branch of the femoral nerve this nerve lies laterally to the femoral artery as you can see it here and it enters the vastus medialis in the upper part of the canal and the next content is the anterior and posterior division of the obturator nerve so these are the anterior and posterior divisions of the obturator nerve this is the anterior division and this is the posterior division of the obturator nerve so the posterior division of the obturator nerve runs on the anterior surface of the adductor magnus and it ends by supplying the knee joint so it goes like this and it supplies the knee joint so it goes on the anterior surface of the adductor magnus muscle and the last content is the descending genicular artery which we already discussed it is a branch of the femoral artery and this descending genicular artery gives off an another branch this is the saphenous artery and remember the spiral course of the femoral vein and the saphenous nerve with respect to the femoral artery in between is due to the medial rotation of the lower limb during the development so during the development of the lower limb the lower limb rotates medially and then the spiral course of this femoral vein and the saphenous nerve is obtained and coming to the interesting and the important point the clinical correlation the clinical significance of the adductor canal is that the femoral artery is exposed and ligated in the adductor canal during the surgery for the aneurysm of the popliteal artery this is because the artery at this side is healthy and does not tear when tied and this procedure of tying the popliteal artery for the aneurysm in the adductor canal was first performed by a famous surgeon dr john hunter and so the adductor canal was named after him as the hunter's canal and after ligation of the femoral artery in the adductor canal the collateral circulation is established through the arterial anastomosis around the knee joint so guys this is all about the adductor canal the boundaries the contents and the clinical correlation if you like my video do subscribe to my channel you can remember the contents better by remembering the diagram and do look at some of my recent videos and playlists